Hi, welcome back to Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. In this video, I just want to quickly show you why these actual lawnmower decks rot. If you've spent upwards of sort of three, four, five hundred pounds on a lawnmower, and you don't clean this sort of stuff off every year, that's what rots the actual deck. Obviously, if it's plastic, it'll probably be all right. But the other problem with not cleaning these decks off is when you get this build-up around here and it all sticks around here, what happens is it actually doesn't transfer the actual grass through the chute here into the grass box as well as it should. You can't get the back lift because these things are actually designed to create the back lift with the angle of the blade and actually push these cut grass clippings into the actual grass box. So what we need to do with this is just quickly clean off all this here. Now I've got two handy helpers here. Um, and what the easiest way I've found to do this is either to get a wire brush and do it or just to get a pressure washer and just take the uh, the best part of your pressure washer, I'm not sure what it's called, whichever lance it is, like a dirt blaster I think it is on a catcher and just take it all off from underneath and that's what we're going to do now. So you're going to set these hose paper up aren't you and we're going to get this catcher yep. and we'll blast it all off. So we're just softening this up a bit, it's just helping with this hose paper before I connect the catcher up. But if you've got a lawnmower like this and you don't want to tip it right over, that's the last thing you really want to do. What you want to do is just tip it on a side against the fence, so it's the car breaks the side upwards like that, and lean it half on the fence and that'll do, pull the spark plug lead off. And then when you get underneath it from the side, you can actually get all this off. The last thing you ever want to do with this is actually turn your lawnmower over with the engine still connected. So while I've got the engine off this, I thought it was just a good opportunity to clean all this off, because this is actually my own lawnmower. I've just got one of these... Uh, K2 catch, I think this is the cheapest one you can get, but there's different ends, this is like the normal lance you get with it, and this is like a dirt, I think they call it a dirt blaster lance, or they used to do anyway, if you get one of these, I've found that this is the best way to actually get in here and take all this off here as well, and it actually blasts all this off, so that's what I'm going to do now. So hopefully I've got my mobile cameraman working, can you see all the grass on, that's still stuck on here, are you doing a hose pipe with it? See? Yep. You could wire brush this, but it takes a while and you get sort of dust everywhere, so I'm going to get this. You can probably see there just how much has come off there, how easy it takes all this off, and that's what you want. You want all this and all these sort of bits. You want all that off, and then occasionally just tip it up, take the water out so you're not kind of blasting the water back at yourself. Hopefully you can see the difference now, you can see just how much has come off there and if you do this, even once a year do this and maybe just paint the underneath with some old paint, I'm going to use some hammerite paint on the bottom of this, if you did that once a year and just really looked after the engine on these mowers, they would probably last twice as long because what happens on these mowers is a lot of them tend to have really good engines on like Briggs engines or Honda engines and the deck actually rots out a long time before the engines kind of past its serviceable life so one of the best things you can do with your lawnmower is just do this every year, at least once a year, just take all the rubbish off the bottom and try and avoid, obviously, try and avoid cutting wet grass where you can because that's what causes the majority to stick under here but it does still stick to the deck even if it's just slightly wet there we go, so I'm going to do the other side now I think if I'd have left this lawnmower deck any longer, another year or so, this would have started to rot through and I'd have probably had no deck left on this mower. So really, that's all you need to do. You can see the big difference there and all you need to do next, I think I'll do this in a minute, once this has dried off. I'm just going to coat that with some paint, I guess any sort of old metal paint will do anything really, if you ain't got even got metal paint just put some protective cover on it, some sort of paint will do just get something on there that actually just puts a seal between this metal and any grass that's going to stick underneath it they tend to rot out in these places here, these decks as well around these parts when you see any for sale that have rotted out they've kind of gone in the corners here which I suppose makes sense as well but you can see in just a few minutes time it's a little bit of a messy way doing it 
but in a few minutes time you've got this whole thing cleaned off. So what I usually do is just get some of this paint, I've got this hammer right, this black here, it's just hammered black. I just put in a bit in a tub and somewhere on here I've probably got just an old, an old brush, that'll come to life again, that'll probably even do. And I'll just get a bit of that and we'll just put a bit on underneath and that's all you really need to do, it'll protect it. So you just get a bit on here, basically showing you how to paint something, aren't I? And I'm just going to go around the whole thing like this. And I'm just going to give it a real good coat of this hammerite paint. And if you get a good lot on here, especially in these corners, if you can film around this side, mate, if you get a good amount in here, in this bit there, look, can you see in there? That's where you really want it to, to cover because that's where it'll rot if it's going to go. So just get in and do the whole thing. It only takes a couple of minutes to do it while you've got it off. And this is something I, I really can't recommend high enough, especially if you've just bought yourself a really li nice lawnmower with a, a real good engine, like a really nice Honda engine in, or a Toro mower or something like that. If you, you know, you're spending upwards of 500, 600, up to a thousand pound, it's kind of pointless if you don't do it because you're going to end up with a, a lawnmower with a really, really nice engine on. And if it's just got a standard deck like this, after a few years, you're going to have the same problem you would have if you had a lawnmower you sort of paid £150 for really, so at the end of the season, even if you don't tip it right over, just get it on its side a little bit and just do yourself a favour and take the grass off underneath. Just go around and just cut all the bottom of this like that. Now that's it really, if you can just have a film in here mate. I've got two mobile cameras on today haven't I? Can you film in this and just show everybody what yeah. we've done in here Jack and get a bit closer? That's, I mean, I'm not obviously really in a painting, but that's all you kind of need to do, just cover everything over. These bits of plastic here at the back, so I don't need to do those. I'm just, anything I've got left, I'm just going to specifically put down these edges here like that. And this will save you hundreds of pounds in the future. And if you're stuck at home because of this horrible coronavirus thing, and you're short of something to do, I suggest if you want to save yourself a few pounds in the future, get yourself a tin of paint out and just paint the underside of your deck. Because this mower's a mess and it's my own, I'm actually going to take this badge off here. And I'm going to paint the outside of this as well because it's just a bit tatty. And I'm not selling it or anything, but I'm just going to take this off here. I'm going to pull that out. Look at that, let's have a look here. What about that? What, what do you reckon? Mm, not bad. Maybe that there, can't we? You're a mower like that, aren't you? Mm, maybe not. Look at that, I'm not feeling garage garage door, but no one else has got one of them, have they? No. Hey, about that. Hey, about that. Right. Um, I'm going to paint this as well. So I'm just going to quickly go around it. I'm not going to go mad. I'm just going to tidy it up a little bit. If you're selling these for profit and you get a really tatty one of these, if you get this hammerite black hammered finish hammerite, I think it's standard anyway, the hammered finish, isn't it? If you get that and just go over it, but there's any rust spots, it's quite good at covering it over as well. So I'm going to try not to get this absolutely everywhere. I'm just going to go over the whole thing. You don't need to watch all that. I just wanted to show it really. You can see here, I'm just doing these. I should have masked it all off really, rather than just made a mess. But if you just want to quickly tidy it up, it's quite old as well. Just get some of this and when it dries, it dries really nice. You can't really go wrong with this Samurai stuff either. And um, it's just a quick way of doing it. And it makes such a difference. If you're going to sell it as well, it makes such a difference. So we'll come around and I'll do a bit of this side around here. It just tidies everything up, doesn't it? I have to mind that sticker though, I don't want to go over the sticker. You need that service sticker if you want to buy any parts for these mowers, so I'll kind of leave that one alone really. As I say, I'm not doing a, an amazing job of it, but I'm just going to go over the, the worst bits just to give it a better overall appearance really. If I was to buy this and sell it on, this is definitely something I'd want to do as well. Don't worry about being too perfect, just get some on. Cover over all the brown bits that look like they're starting to rust really. That's all you need to do. And it looks... So there we go, you can probably see it's a, just a bit of a, a quick going over with a paintbrush is that, but if you were to sell that with the engine back on and you've cleaned the engine up and painted all that up and got everything looking nice again, you see what a difference it's made, it's only going to cost me a couple of pounds really in some paint. So you can probably see the outer side of the deck there. You get a bit nearer mate with your camera. Um, and it's not going to win any awards for paint work. But it's tidy 
and it's protected as well that's all really we need to do so I'll wait till that dries I'll probably put the sticker back on and then we'll bolt this engine back on at some point but for this video all I wanted to do was show you how to tidy up a scruffy lawnmower deck and prevent it rotting underneath so that's all you need to do if you are going to do this with the engine on tip it with the carburetor side up don't tip it right over just tip it on the side remove the spark plug lead and if you can get under it a bit to clean the underside of the deck off take the grass off with a wire brush or a pressure washer and just paint it with some of this hammerite paint I'll leave a link in the description to this paint that I've used as well so you can purchase that if you wish thanks for watching see you again next time